Kenyon College ladies soccer team has been tearing up the NCAC. Joining us to talk about it in this ladies season update is head coach Kelly Bryan. Coach, thank you for joining us this week. And you know, early on the season, some of the results maybe weren't what you were looking for. You had a lot of young players getting some time and just different formations trying to figure out what you were doing. Recently, you guys have seen a lot more, seemed a lot more proactive than reactive. What has been clicking? Well, exactly what you said. Some of those younger players finally have some experience now and gain confidence. Um, formation switch was important for us to finally feel like people could play within their strengths. And uh, it took a little longer than we would have liked, but we got there. So I'm excited how we're doing with that. Um, you know, I think just giving people time to figure out how to play off of each other. And we played a really tough schedule in September. And, you know, we, we do that on purpose. We realize we didn't get as many wins out of that as we would have liked. But it did prepare us for, you know, the battles that we're now facing in the conference. So now 4-1-1 one one in conference. Mm -hmm. That last game against Oberlin, though, you went 2-1. But a late goal given up. And the same thing happened against the College of Worcester. Albeit there, you were playing with a player down. But... Mm -hmm. How do you tighten up a little bit and not give up those late goals, which will make it a little less stressful for you on the bench? It would be a lot less stressful. It would be great. Um, <laughs> you know, I think it's just keeping our focus. Um, I, I can say that we are still trying to attack, so I'm happy with, you know, we're not trying to just sit on a lead. We are trying to build on that, but it's also knowing how to build on that and not give up transition defensively and just make good decisions. And so... You know, all it takes sometimes is just uh, one, uh, you know, one miscommunication or, uh, you know, a, a, one ball given away. And if people aren't paying attention like they have been the rest of the game, then sometimes that can lead to, you know, a goal. And that lets the team back in. And I think we also need to give credit to all of our teams in our conference that we're playing against that no matter what the score is, they're going to compete and they're going to play hard. And it's a reminder for us that we need to be on our toes the entire time, no matter what the score is, because people are not going to stop playing. So early on in the season, offense was pretty much all Maggie Smith. Now you've seen Bree Maggard start scoring a little bit. Morgan England coming off the bench was, has looked pretty good. Why has this attack slowly developed, and how much more dangerous does it make you that now you, you don't just have one player that the other teams have to mark? Well, it helps tremendously because Maggie, you know, if you watch the game against Oberlin, they were very intentional about putting multiple players on her, trying not to let her turn. Um, so she's trying to find other people and get them in the attack, and um, people are finally doing something <laughs> with it. So it's exciting. Um, you know, Bree's been dangerous all year, and just now to finally get the timing when Maggie does you know, come back in to receive a ball that that space is open and she's reading it really well. So, um, you know, I'm really excited for Bree that that's happening. Morgan has done a phenomenal job all season in practice and watching and learning. Just what she said in her interview. I mean, <laughs> she's been listening and learning and um, she's putting that stuff now out on the field. And so it's great to see somebody utilize that opportunity. So you mentioned tomorrow you're playing Allegheny at home in your final home regular season NCAC matchup of the season. What is your scouting report in Allegheny and what is your game plan going in? Well, they're a very tough team. Um, they play in a 4-3-3. They um, are very strong with their organization. Um, they have one of the best forwards in the league, um, senior Jesse Thiessen. So, you know, she's got lots of experience. She came back after an injury last season. So, you know, we have to be very aware of where she is. Um, they're going to be strong in the air. They're going to, um, you know, try to put us under a lot of pressure by putting balls through our back line. So. You know, we have to be ready to play well, and for us, it's just a matter of uh, keeping possession. And when we do that, things usually work out well for us. So if we can control the pace of the game, that will be important. Uh, defensively, you know, I mean, I would, I'd love to see a shutout as well. You know, I think that that's important as far as, you know, keeping our net clean and, um, you know, just, again, controlling the game. And that's something that, despite being scored on, late against Oberlin. After that goal, I was very pleased with how we controlled the game after that point, that we really kept the ball, we took it to the corners, we made smart decisions after that. And so that was a sign to me that we did learn from our mistake, you know, in giving them that opportunity. And, and that's important. And we just want to use that tomorrow as well. So now, this next game is not your senior day, it's the weekend after, but we might not have you on before that. So <laughs> you have one senior on your roster. Mm -hmm. What does Maggie Smith mean to Kenyan Ladies Soccer? Well, she's just a warrior. Um, you know, she has, she's the only one that made it through four years. It's tough. College soccer or college athletics is hard. It's not for everybody. And, 
you know, I'm very proud of her, and she's been a captain for two years now, and um, she never gets rattled. She's one of those people that, um, you know, I don't even ask her anymore if she's ready to play because she's like, of course. You know, I mean, it's just a given that no matter the game, the circumstances, the weather, nothing is going to phase her, and she just wants to compete, she wants the team to win, and she's just gonna make sure she sets a great example. To see her graduate is gonna be hard because she's been such an important part of our team for more than just goals. Um, so much more to her personality and what she gives us and her maturity, and um, you know, it's gonna be sad. It's just like every senior year, um, but it'll be sad, but you know, I'm very proud of her and thankful for everything she's done for us, and I hope that she gets to keep playing a little bit longer and um, you know, find the back of the net or get assists or whatever it might be, but we know she's gonna give us everything. Well, you have two, at least two more chances to see Maggie Smith play here at Mavic Field. One of them is this Saturday playing Allegheny at 1 p.m. Come on out and support the ladies. For Coach, I'm Matthew Ruskin. Thank you for joining us. Thank <laughs> you.